Good evening. Welcome to worship for Wednesday, January the 20th, 2021. It is good to gather this evening to pray together and be together. As we pray this evening, we hold in our hearts and in our prayers President Trump and Vice President Pence and their families and administration officials as they transition into what is next in their lives. And we pray for President Biden and Vice President Harris and their families and their administrations as they come into office, that they may have wisdom and courage for the days ahead. We hold in our prayers this evening as well all those who have died from COVID-19. Just yesterday, the United States crossed an, a threshold number of 400,000 people in our country who have died from COVID-19. We pray for ourselves that we have the perseverance to carry on in our precautions, to carry on in hope for a new day shall come. A new day comes and a light shines in the darkness. I invite you to have a candle and light it and join in the dialogue. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And illumine your church. Genesis chapter 16, all of chapter 16. It's the story of the birth of Ishmael to Hagar and Hagar's encounter with God. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, bore him no children. She had an Egyptian slave girl whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said to Abram, You see that the Lord God has prevented me from bearing children. Go into my slave girl. It may be that I shall obtain children by her. Abram listened to the voice of Sarai. After Abram had lived ten years in the land of Canaan, Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, the Egyptian, her slave girl, and gave her to her husband. Abram took her, and Abram took her as a wife. 
He went into Hagar, and she conceived, and when she saw that she had conceived, she looked with contempt on her mistress. Then Sarai said to Abram, May the wrong done to me be on you. I gave my slave girl to your embrace, and when she saw that she had conceived, she looked on me with contempt. May the Lord judge between you and me. But Abram said to Sarai, Your slave girl is in your power to do to her as you please. Then Sarai dealt harshly with her, and she ran away from her. The angel of the Lord found Hagar by a spring of water in the wilderness, the spring on the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, slave girl of Sarai, where have you come from and where are you going? She said, I am running away from my mistress, Sarai. The angel of the Lord said to her, Return to your mistress and submit to her. The angel of the Lord also said to her, I will so greatly multiply your offspring that they cannot be counted for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Now you have conceived and shall bear a son, you shall call him Ishmael. For the Lord has given heed to your affliction. He shall be a wild ass of a man with his hand against everyone and everyone's hand against him, and he shall live at odds with all his kin. So she named the Lord who spoke to her, You are Elroy. For she said, Have I really seen God and remained alive after seeing him? Therefore the well was called Be'er Lahai Roy, and it lies between Kadesh and Bered. Hagar bore Abram a son, and Abram named his son whom Hagar bore Ishmael. Abram was eighty-six years old when Hagar bore him Ishmael. Holy wisdom, holy words. Thanks be to God. In God alone my soul can find rest and peace. In God my peace and joy. Only in God my soul can find its rest. Find its rest and peace. In God alone my soul can find rest and peace. In God my peace. Lifting up the lowly, 
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Have mercy for public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest. Rejoicing in the communion of all the saints. We commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins, where we have done wrong, and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Go in peace, my friends. Have a good week.